Do you feel better? How does that little bum feel? Does it feel good? Hey piggy people. So tonight's going to be a mishmash of a couple videos. First I wanted to show you Velvet, what I do with her every cage cleaning night. And then Butter Pecan has to get a bum bath. So first, uh, Velvet is the piggy who has a hernia. So I will show you guys where the hernia is. Don't worry, it's nothing graphic. It's If you didn't know she had one, you'd probably just mistake it for fluff. So one thing I check is her hernia to make sure it's still soft and pliable and doesn't cause her any pain. So her hernia is abdominal fat, so I just want to make sure that's still all it is. And she also gets foot cream on her foot, which I'll show you her foot. So she came with kind of dry feet and her one back foot still has like a callus on the heel that kind of looks dry. So we use some gorgeous Guineas F&M foot ointment. And then the last thing I do is just tidy her little lady parts. Now that she has the hernia, I think it's just a bit harder for her to keep her bum clean. It's nothing very dirty at all, but it could use a freshen up every cage cleaning. Okay, so this is her hernia right here. It's squishy and I'm not gonna play with it too much. But when you tip her back, it kind of is able to disappear more if you push on it a bit. So yeah, that's kind of where it is here. See, like she's so fluffy that it's kind of hard to see, but that's where it is right there. Okay, so this is her foot here. So you guys can see there's a calloused part right here. Uh, the rest of her foot looks pretty good, but it's just that callus that I just like to put stuff on. So when we first got her, she lived in a little pet store cage just on bedding and had a dome house that she just stayed in. So I think that's why her feet got dry from, you know, not moving around. And unfortunately that foot still, that callus just stays there. Sometimes it looks better and almost looks gone, but it always kind of comes back. So I just like to use the cream on there because I never want it to get worse. So her foot's not red or cracked or anything. It's just like a rough callus. So we use the Gorgeous Guineas F&M foot ointment for that. So that's it for Miss Velvy for right now. Um, I do trim her bum hair too as needed. Just because sometimes once it starts to get really long it kind of curls down under. So that can get a bit messy. And as you guys can see, like she's not shaking or anything and she's very relaxed. So I usually just will sit with her for a few minutes and pet her. And then she goes back in the cage because we're mid cage clean. So she gets put onto the comfy side, comfy and clean side. And then I grab Apple and we'll do Apple's little bum check. And then we'll be off to Butter Pecan's bum bath. So I'm going to let Butter Pecan soak in a little tub first just to kind of loosen up her, the junk that's by her bum. So Butter Pecan is six and a half, so sometimes she's a little bit lazy, I guess you could say. So anyway, we'll get on with that. Oh, you don't want to step off of there, sweetie. So Butter Pecan is going to have a bit of a bum soak, so probably for a good five minutes or so. I just want to get any junk that's kind of caught in her fur around her bum loosened up. And then we will film the next station, which is over at the sink in the next room, where I'll use our gorgeous Guineas Kind and Gentle Shampoo to really work around the area. We'll rinse off her bum, and then I personally use a hair dryer to dry them off. So I'll do some towel drying to get most of the moisture out, and then I like to blow dry just to make sure they're completely dry. And when you do blow dry, you just have to be smart about it. Keep the blow dryer a good distance away from them and always have your hand where you're blow drying so that you can feel the temperature. You would never want to obviously burn their skin. And I always make sure to move it around a whole bunch so you're not focusing just on one spot for more than a few seconds. So Butter Pecan, as I said, is six and a half years old. So sometimes she will sleep in one area for quite an extended period of time and she'll have a lot of poop behind her that's kind of all just sitting right where her bum is. So every once in a while I'll notice that like the fur around her bum just starts to look a little 
a little junky. Uh, what I often do for her is I'll take a cotton round and just tidy her bum up every morning just to give it like just a little quick clean wipe and sometimes I'll put a little coconut oil on her lady parts just as a added protective layer but usually she's very clean it's just every once in a while just the fur around her bum looks like it could use a little trim and a little wash which what piggy doesn't so it's always good to you know give your piggies a wash as needed all piggies need it once in a while you know I just don't think people need to get too crazy about it, like doing it every week or every other week. Because if your pig was getting that dirty that quick, I'd be concerned about their cage. What do you think, little sweetie? Okay, so we will be back. Okay, so we're at station number two. Um, in the sink, I have fleece, just in case I need to set her down. We have our kind and gentle, gorgeous guinea shampoo. And I'm just going to get a little water started for her. Just get her bum wet again and we'll put the shampoo on. Being so good. If anybody's wondering why I have a mask on, I have allergies to hay. The main concentration was like on her belly on either side right here. You're such a good girl. That was really the main area. She had a whole bath, like a full bath, I guess I could say. Not like that long ago, maybe like four months ago. Okay. I think that feels good. It looked pretty tidy too after a soak. I'm just gonna do a little bit of towel drying with her. So Pecan has super dense thick fur, like a lot more than any of the other pigs. So it takes a long time to get her dry. Okay, little sweetie, you did so good. So I have to be careful with um, towel drying Pecan off. She does have sensitive hips. So I can't be, you know, too rough with her. You know what I mean. Like, not that I'd be rough with any of the pigs. But she's extra sensitive if you're kind of rubbing around too much. Okay, so that's probably as good as I'm going to do here. And we'll move on to our next station. So this is my hair dryer that I use. It's a, a new me. So a very expensive hair dryer that I ended up not using for myself but used for the pigs. Fancy that, eh? Here we go. Good girl. Thanks, I got pecan and we are going back. Easy does it, pretty girl. Here we go. 
So she's a lot harder to dry off than say Apple. Like you get scruff in her fur up too much and she kind of loses her balance in the back end. So I tried to be as careful as I could. So she's going to have a little bit of bum hair that she needs to dry on her own. But it's nice and warm here in the pig room. Oh, you waddling away. Do you feel better? How's that little bum feel? Does it feel good? So her fur looks super nice and clean now, so I'm really happy. And that has got to feel better. Hi, Apple. Hey, Miss Belby. Hey, Reese. Oh, you ladies are so cute. So we gotta finish cleaning the rest of the cage. Hey, Ray. Hey, Ray Ray. Hey, Huck Man. How are ya? Hi, Bubby. Okay, so I've got that much done and I gotta finish clearing that out. So that is our night. Uh, there's always a lot of upkeep with having 10 piggies, but I don't mind. So Raisin literally went from there all the way back to over here. You're crazy today, Ray. Don't be squishing anybody. Hi, Reesey Bear. Hi, sweetie. You're so gorgeous. You playing follow the leader? Where are you going? Everybody's probably wondering, when is the rest of the cage going to be ready? Okay, I'll get working. Yeah, there's nothing over there. What's up with that? What's happening? Hi, hey, Belby. Hi, sweetie. Hi, B. Don't be shy. You were just out on my lap. Hey, Huckster. Okay, I gotta get to work. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you later. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from. So keep on watching!